The prehistory of the Iberian Peninsula begins with the arrival of the first hominins 1.2 million years ago and ends with the Punic Wars, when the territory enters the domains of written history. In this long period, some of its most significant landmarks were to host the last stand of the Neanderthal people, to develop some of the most impressive Paleolithic art, alongside southern France to be the seat of the earliest civilizations of Western Europe and finally to become a most desired colonial objective due to its strategic position, and its many mineral riches. Lower and Middle Paleolithic Hominin inhabitation of the Iberian Peninsula dates from the Paleolithic. Early hominin remains have been discovered at a number of sites on the peninsula. Significant evidence of an extended occupation of Iberia by Neanderthal man has also been discovered. Homo sapiens first entered Iberia towards the end of the Paleolithic. For a time Neanderthals and modern humans coexisted until the former were finally driven to extinction. Modern man continued to inhabit the peninsula through the Mesolithic and Neolithic periods. Many of the best preserved prehistoric remains are in the Artapuerca region, rich with limestone caves that have preserved a million years of human evolution. Among these sites is the cave of Grandelina, where six hominin skeletons, dated between 780,000 and 1.2 million years ago, were found in 1994. Experts have debated whether these skeletons belong to the species Homo erectus, Homo heidelbergensis, or a new species called Homo ontocessor. In the Grandelina, investigators have found evidence of tool used to butcher animals and other hominins. The first evidence of cannibalism in a hominin species. Evidence of fire has also been found at the site, suggesting they cooked their meat. Also in Artapuerca is the site at Cima de los Husos, or Pit of Bones. Excavators have found the remains of 30 hominins dated to about 400,000 years ago. The remains have been tentatively classified as Homo heidelbergensis and may be ancestors of the Neanderthals. No evidence of habitation has been found at the site except for one stone hand axe and all of the remains at the site are of young adults or teenagers. The age similarity suggests the remains were not the result of accidents. The seemingly deliberate placement of remains and lack of habitation may mean that the bodies were deliberately interred in the pit as a place of burial, which would make the site the first evidence of hominin burial. Around 200,000 BC, during the Lower Paleolithic period, Neanderthals first entered the Iberian Peninsula. Around 70,000 BC, during the Middle Paleolithic period the last ice age began and the Neanderthal Mausterian culture was established. The Escural Cave has evidence of human activity starting in the Middle Paleolithic, with an estimated date of 50,000 years BP. Around 35,000 BC, during the Upper Paleolithic, the Neanderthal Chateperonian cultural period began. Emanating from southern France, this culture extended into northern Iberia. This culture continued to exist until around 28,000 BC when Neanderthal man faced extinction. Their final refuge has been said to be Gibraltar. Neanderthal remains have been found at a number of sites on the Iberian Peninsula. A Neanderthal skull was found in Forbes Quarry in Gibraltar in 1848 making it the second territory after Belgium where remains of Neanderthals were found. Neanderthals were not recognized as a separate species until the discovery of remains in Neanderthal, Germany in 1856 though their classification as a separate species has recently been called into question. Subsequent Neanderthal discoveries in Gibraltar have also been made including the skull of a four-year-old child and preserved excrement on top of baked mussel shells. The Neanderthals were present in Iberia until at least 28,000 or 27,000 BC. Evidence of their presence in this period is found in Columbaira, Figueira Brava and Salamas. 
The cave of Sailor Mars, located in Lures municipality, was inhabited in the Paleolithic. Archaeological industries of the Middle Paleolithic in Iberia lasted until about 28,000 or 26,000 BC. During this period, the Mausterian culture was replaced by the Aurignacian culture. The Mausterian culture is associated with Neanderthals and the Aurignacian culture is associated with modern humans. In Zafariya a Neanderthal mandible and Mausterian tools, associated with the Neanderthal culture, were found in 1995. The mandible was dated to about 28,000 BC and the tools to about 25,000 BC. These dates make the Zafariya remains the youngest evidence of Neanderthals and have expanded the timeline of Neanderthal existence. The more recent dating of the remains also provides the first evidence for prolonged coexistence between Neanderthals and modern man. Labrador Cave in Catalonia contains Aurignacian cave paintings, as well as earlier remains from Neanderthals. Some have also suggested that the newer remains in Iberia suggest Neanderthals were driven out of Central Europe by modern man to the Iberian peninsula where they sought refuge. Upper Paleolithic Early Upper Paleolithic the Chataperonian culture is found in the Cantabrian region and in Catalonia. The Aurignacian culture succeeds it and has the following periodization. Archaic Aurignacian, found in Cantabria, where it alternates with Chataperonian, and in Catalonia. The carbon-14 dates for Morin Cave are relatively late in the European context c. 28,500 BP, but the occupation dates for El Pando must be of earlier date. Typical Aurignacian is found in Cantabria, the Basque Country and Catalonia. Radiocarbon dating gives the following dates, 32,425 and 29,515 BP. Evolved Aurignacian is found in Cantabria, Asturias and Catalonia. Final Aurignacian in Cantabria, after the Gravitian interlude. In the Mediterranean area, Aurignacian remains have been found sparsely distributed in the lands of Valencia and Murcia and Andalusia, as far west as Gibraltar. The 14 C dates available are 29,100 BP, 28,727,860 BP. BP. The remains of a child dated to California, 24,500 years BP, known as the Lepedo child, were discovered in Lugarvelo, in Laria municipality. The cranium, mandible, dentition and postcrania present a mosaic of European early modern human and Neanderthal features. It is claimed the individual was a hybrid between a Cro-Magnon and a Neanderthal. This claim is contested. Ian Tattersall and Jeffrey H. Schwartz consider it is probable the individual was a modern human, part of the Gravitian culture. Middle Upper Paleolithic Gravitian The Gravitian culture followed the steps of the Aurignacian expansion but its remains are not very abundant in the Cantabrian area, while in the southern region they are more common. In the Cantabrian area all Gravitian remains belong to late evolved phases and are found always mixed with Aurignacian technology. The main sites are found in the Basque country, Cantabria and Asturias. It is archaeologically divided in two phases characterized by the amount of gravity and elements. The phase A has a 14 C date of C, 20,710 BP and the phase B is of later date. The Cantabrian gravity on has been parallel to the Perigordian V7 of the French sequence. It eventually vanishes from the archaeological sequence and is replaced by an Aurignacian Renaissance, at least in El Pendo Cave. It is considered intrusive, in contrast with the Mediterranean area, where it probably means a real colonization.
In the Mediterranean region, the Gravitian culture also had a late arrival. Nevertheless, the southeast has an important number of sites of this culture, especially in the land of Valencia. It is also found in the land of Mercia and Andalusia. The first indications of modern human colonization of the interior and the west of the peninsula are found only in this cultural phase with a few late gravity and elements found in the Manzanares Valley and Sailor Mars Cave. Solutry and the Solutrian culture shows its earliest appearances in Laugeriot and Les Malites, with radiocarbon dates of 21,710 and 20,890 BP respectively. In the Iberian Peninsula it shows three different facies. The Iberian facies is defined by the sites of Parpolo and Les Malites in the province of Valencia. They are found immersed in important gravity and perdurations that would eventually redefine the facies as gravitizing solitary and the archetypical sequence. That of Parpolo and Les Malites caves is initial solitary and full or middle solitary and dated in its lower layers to 20,180 BP and sterile layer with signs of intense cold that is related to the last glacial maximum. Upper or evolved solutrian, including bone tools and also needles of this material. These two caves are surrounded by many other sites that show only a limited impact of solutrian and instead have many gravity and perdurations showing a convergence that has been named as Gravita Solutrian. Solutrian is also found in the land of Mercia, Mediterranean Andalusia and the Lower Targus. In the Portuguese case there are no signs of gravitization. The Cantabrian facies shows two markedly different tendencies in Asturias and the Vasco Cantabrian area. The oldest findings are all in Asturias and lack of the initial phases, beginning with the full Solutrian in Las Caldas and other nearby sites, followed by evolved Solutrian, with many unique regional elements. Radiocarbon dates oscillate between 20,970 and 19,000 BP. In the Vasco Cantabrian area, instead, the gravity on influences seem persistent and the typical solitary and foliaceous elements are minority. Some transmissional elements that prelude the Magdalenian, like the monobasilated bone spear point, are already present. Most important sites are Altamira, Moran, Chuffin, Salita, Amitia, Acura, Les Echiqui, and Santi Mamine. In northern Catalonia there is an early local solutrian, followed by scarce middle elements but with a well-developed final solutrian. It is related to the French Pyrenean sequences. Main sites are Cau La Gogesh, Reclaw Viva and Labrada. In the region of Madrid there were some findings attributed to Solutrian that are today missing. Later Papaleolithic this phase is defined by the Magdalenian culture, even if in the Mediterranean area the gravity on influence is still persistent. In the Cantabrian area, the early Magdalenian phases show two different phases. The Castillo facies evolves locally over final solitary and layers, while the Rascano facies appears in most cases directly over the natural soil. In the second phase, the lower evolved Magdalenian, there are also two facies but now with a geographical divide. The El Duyo facies is found in Asturias and Cantabria, while the Basque Country facies is only found in this region. The dates for this early Magdalenian period oscillate between 16,433 BP for Rascano Cave, 15,988 and 15,179 BP for the same cave and 15,000 BP for Altamira. For the Basque Country facies the Cave of Abance has given 15,800 BP. The Middle Magdalenian shows less abundance of findings. The Upper Magdalenian is closely related to that of southern France, being characterized by the presence of harpoons. Again there are two facies that appear geographically intertwined. Though the facies A is absent in the Basque Country and the facies B is rare in Asturias. 
In Portugal there have been some findings of the Upper Magdalenian north of Lisbon. A possible intermediate site is La de Hesse, that is clearly associated with that of the Cantabrian area. In the Mediterranean area, Catalonia again is directly connected with the French sequence, at least in the late phases. Instead the rest of the region shows a unique local evolution known as Parpalens. The sometimes called Parpalo Magdalenian is actually a continuity of the local Gravitas Solutrian. Only the late Upper Magdalenian actually includes true elements of this culture, like proto-harpoons. Radicarbon dates for this phase are of C. 11,470 BP. Other sites give later dates that actually approach the EPI Paleolithic. Paleolithic art together with France, the Iberian Peninsula is one of the prime areas of Paleolithic cave paintings. This artistic manifestation is found most importantly in the northern Cantabrian area, where the earliest manifestations are as old as Aurignacian times, even if rare. The practice of this mural art increases in frequency in the Solutrean period when the first animals are drawn. But it is not until the Magdalenian cultural phase when it becomes truly widespread, being found in almost every cave. Most of the representations are of animals and are painted in ochre and black colors but there are exceptions in human-like forms as well as abstract drawings also appear in some sites. In the Mediterranean and interior areas, the presence of mural art is not so abundant but exists as well since the Solutrean. Also, several examples of open-air art exist. The monumental Coa Valley, in Vila Nova de Foz Coa Municipality, Portugal, has petroglyphs dating to more than 10,000 years ago. Other examples include Chimacias, Los Cases or La Pasiega, or, in general, the caves principally in Cantabria. Epipaleolithic Around 10,000 BC, an interstadial deglaciation called the Alarod Oscillation occurred, weakening the rigorous conditions of the last ice age. This climatic change also represents the end of the Upper Paleolithic period, beginning the Upper Paleolithic. As the climate became warmer, the late Magdalenian peoples of Iberia modified their technology and culture. The main techno-cultural change is the process of microlithization. The reduction of size of stone and bone tools, also found in other parts of the world. Also the cave sanctuaries seem to be abandoned and art becomes rarer and mostly done on portable objects, such as pebbles or tools. It also implies changes in diet, as the megafauna virtually disappears when the steppe becomes woodlands. In this period, hunted animals are of smaller size, typically deer or wild goats, and seafood becomes an important part of the diet where available. Azilian The first epipaleolithic culture is the Azilian, also known as microlaminar microlithism in the Mediterranean. This culture is the local evolution of Magdalenian, parallel to other regional derivatives found in Central and Northern Europe. Original from the Franco-Cantabrian region, it eventually expands to Mediterranean Iberia as well. An archetypical Azilian site in the Iberian Peninsula is Zatoya, where it is difficult to discern the early Azilian elements from those of late Magdalenian. Full Azilian in the same site is dated to 8150 BP, followed by appearance of geometric elements of to later date that continue until the arrival of pottery. In the Mediterranean area, virtually this same material culture is often named microlaminar microlithism because it lacks of the bone industry typical of Franco-Cantabrian, Azilian. It is found in parts of Catalonia, Valenciaan community, Mercia and Mediterranean Andalusia. It has been dated in Les Malites at 10,370 BP. Geometrical microlithism in the late phases of the Epipaleolithic and Utrend derives from the north. 
the geometrical microlithism, directly related to Sovaterran and Tardinoisian cultures of the Rhine-Danube region. While in the Franco-Cantabrian region it has a minor impact, not altering the Azilian culture substantially. In Mediterranean Iberia and Portugal its arrival is more noticeable. The Mediterranean geometrical microlithism has two facies. The Philidor facies is directly related to French Sovaterran and is found in Catalonia, north of the Ebro River. The Cocina facies is more widespread and, in many sites, shows a strong dependence of fishing and seafood gathering. The Portuguese sites have given dates of c. 7350. Asturian A rather mysterious exception to generalized microlithism is the so-called Asturian culture, actually identified by a single artifact, the Asturian pickaxe, and found only in coastal locations, especially in eastern Asturias and western Cantabria. It is believed that the Asturian tool was used for seafood gathering. Neolithic. In the 6th millennium BC, Andalusia experiences the arrival of the first agriculturalists. Their origin is uncertain but they arrive with already developed crops. The presence of domestic animals instead is unlikely, as only pig and rabbit remains have been found and these could belong to wild animals. They also consumed large amounts of olives but it's uncertain too whether this tree was cultivated or merely harvested in its wild form. The typical artifact is the La Magra style pottery, quite variegated. The Andalusian Neolithic also influenced other areas, notably southern Portugal, where, soon after the arrival of agriculture, the first dolmen tombs begin to be built c. 4800 BC, being possibly the oldest of their kind anywhere. C. 4700 BC Cardium pottery Neolithic culture arrives to eastern Iberia, while some remains of this culture have been found as far west as Portugal, its distribution is basically Mediterranean. The interior and the northern coastal areas remain largely marginal in this process of spread of agriculture. In most cases it would only arrive in a very late phase or even already in the Chalcolithic Age, together with megalithism. The location of Perdigos, in Reguengos de Monsaras, is thought to have been an important location. Twenty small ivory statues dating to 4,500 years BP have been discovered there since 2011. It has constructions dating back to about 5,500 years. It has a necropolis. Outside the location there is a cromlech. The Almendas cromlech site, in Ivora, has megaliths from the late 6th to the early 3rd millennium BC. The Antigrande do Zambajero, also in Nivora, is dated between the early 4th and the mid-3rd millennium BC. The Dolmen of Cunha Baixa, in Mangual the municipality, is dated between 3000 and 2500 BC. The cave of Salamas was used as a burial ground during the Neolithic.